last night I did an interview with Dave from News Now Community. Uh, he reached out and I tell you what, everybody's just been fantastic. There's a bunch of people I want to thank and in the description you'll find uh, links to all of their channels and I, I guys we got to go show everybody big love on this this is none of us are greater than one of us and you guys have proven to me that there's a lot of cool people out there you guys are mad lads and mad ladies I'm telling you so thank you for that some of the people I want to thank first of all lackluster he picked this up and he cut it way better than I could have possibly done in fact everyone that's picked this up high impact flicks disorderly products news uh, Nine News Network, uh, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Briefly after the stop, maybe five minutes after the stop was over, um, I did call a defense attorney as I was quote unquote told I had committed a felony. So uh, I had no idea what these guys had in mind. They kept my weapon uh, as evidence for some crime that I was afraid or am still kind of worried about them trying to trump up. Uh, I did not release this uh, any earlier than this based on what my lawyer was telling me. So that's why it's taken two and a half months to get this out. Uh, I personally had it within two weeks. The lawyer did for you and get all of the necessary information, at least everything he they said that there was. Um, so I wanted to put this out a long time ago and on his uh, instructions I didn't uh, but after, I'm, I'm pretty patient I think you guys saw that there was a certain amount of patience even in a stressful situation um, but I do have my limits and I'm getting tired of not hearing anything not getting any phone calls back so that's why I actually put it out an update on what progress as far as going on right now um, you people tore down their Facebook page, both the police department and the cities, and the phone number, if you call, it just goes to an automated message that says uh, that the Vi Verizon Wireless is unavailable temporarily. So uh, I haven't tried calling today. Today is Saturday. Um, I haven't tried calling today, so when I talked to David last night in the interview from uh, News Now Community, and uh, go over and check that out. He did a, a really nice job of, of uh, the interview, and he, he also has a couple other people that he's talking to that apparently have had the same situation I've had in the same area, so that's going to be kind of interesting to stay up on, so go show him some love. We do have a court date on June 7th. Uh, I'm taking a couple of days off work. I'm going to go down for two days, and uh, my wife's going to go with me. David talked like he might um, show up, so I think the people of this town need to understand what their police force is doing to out-of-state drivers. This is, uh, I've been driving for 43 years, and I have driven all but three states in the United States, and Hawaii is one of them I have not driven in, and I have never been pulled over and treated like anything close to that. Uh, in fact, I've in 43 years, I was kind of looking, counting them up the other night. I think I may have been pulled over 10 times and half of those times, I didn't even get a ticket. So I have a great respect for good law enforcement. Um, I have watched News Now Community. So when I did turn around and, and say what I said to the officer, uh, I didn't quote Dave exactly but I, it was close but you could see the look in Carlos's eyes all he cared about was ID me and when he didn't I think I could have just turned around and said be safe and he'd have tried to figure some, something out or they'd have followed us out of town he would have done something I think so that was I think his whole goal was to ID me he claims when he was yelling at my wife that I had in some way done something to him or at him when we went by. Um, I talk with my hands, I'm not doing it right now, but I typically talk with my hands, so if I'm in a conversation with my wife, my hands move all the time. So I have no idea what he's talking about. Again, I want to thank everybody for all of the support and the love that you guys have given. Uh, my wife's taken a little bit of hate for uh, what she said. Um, she's probably beat herself up more than 
anybody ever could. Um, she's never been pulled over. So that's been her experience with police officers. Every other experience she's had has always been in a very casual setting. So she's a professional storyteller. She goes to St. Louis and uh, Kansas City. She travels all over telling stories, so sometimes they do have a certain amount of security there. So her interactions with police officers have always been cordial. So she was, she was upset, she was angry. That's my wife angry, guys. Um, and I'll just be honest. She's been married to me for 34 years. And I can tell you right now, I can have a temper. I'm not violent, I'm more of a pacifist than anything. I carry, I've been carrying for 30 years. I forgot the weapon was even there. So and it wasn't until he started grabbing at the front of me that I realized that it was there and I needed to say something. So it, the whole thing got out of hand. Um, I don't feel like I handled it as well as I could have, but having never been put in a stressful situation like that, I've been close to that, but never anything quite like that. Um, I got in the, back in the car after I said what I said pretty quickly because uh, I had visions of something really bad happening. Um, so I guess I feel very fortunate that it didn't want my day to die. So I just want to thank all of you guys. I really appreciate it. And I will definitely try to keep as much of an update as I can. I did not, I repeat, I did not turn off the comments on my channel. Uh, hopefully Dave and I got that fixed last night. Um, I had some people saying, well, the creator turned it off, but it was turned on. There were no restrictions on any of the comments. Your comments are helping me. So again, I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Big love. And uh, all we got, all we can do is just keep supporting these creators of this, these, these cops, and watching what they're doing. And maybe someday, maybe someday, we can get a handle on it. Because as David said last night, we've let this happen. So you guys take care, and I will be in touch.